In today's episode, we're going to use Tinkercad to personalize something that we download from Thingiverse. I'm Brian, and you're watching BV3D. So the other day I was talking with a friend of mine and he was telling me he was having a hard time keeping his Apple iPad Pro and his Apple Pencil together. The Apple Pencil was always wandering off somewhere in his laptop bag and he wanted a way to keep the two of them together so that he'd have them handy when he needed them. So I shared with him something that I've been using which is a little clip that I uh, downloaded from Thingiverse and it's just this nice little, little clip here and it goes on the keyboard right here and then you snap the pencil in and it keeps everything together in one nice neat package. So he asked if I would print one for him and so of course I said yes because I'm always looking for an excuse to print something on my printers. So I figured I would go ahead and personalize it a little bit for him because I know he likes things that are monogrammed. So I'm going to walk you through the process that I followed to download that file from Thingiverse and add a monogram to it in Tinkercad. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go over to Thingiverse and I've actually already got that open right here. This is the original Apple Pencil holder for Smart Keyboard. So we're going to go into Thing Files and we're going to download the most recent version of this pencil clip. And now that we've got that, we can come over to Tinkercad and we will create a new 3D design. And I'm going to rename this because although it comes up with funny little names, I'm not going to remember a month from now that powerful Bojo Turing is actually a uh, monogrammed Apple Pencil Clip. So I'm going to rename that. Okay, so now that we've got a new document set up and named in Tinkercad, we're going to import that file that we downloaded. So I'm going to go grab that from my downloads folder and import. And you can see that it's just a simple object. And right here, this face is the one that shows when the clip is clipped onto the keyboard. So that's where we're going to put the monogram. So we'll grab a text object and put that out here. And my friend's first name begins with the letter A, so we'll just type an A, and that will be our, our text. Now you notice that it's kind of sitting next to this object and it's quite tall. It's uh, 10 millimeters tall, which is a lot taller than it needs to be. And I've noticed something about Tinkercad, and that is when you have a text shape and you haven't changed the font on it, when you group it with something else, it changes the font. It changes it, I'm going to ungroup, it changes it to the, uh, the serif font. And since we're going to end up with that anyway, I may as well set it to that now. And it's a pretty font, so we'll use that. So I want to adjust the height on that. I really only want that about two millimeters high. So now it's a nice flat A. And because it's going to be sideways, I want to have a little bit of a bevel on it so that it's got maybe kind of a 45 degree-ish angle. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so we can see what bevel is doing for us. Well, that's just making it fat. Segments, there we go. That's smoothing it out. Okay. So one segment and that bevel, that's putting a 45 degree angle pretty much all the way around it. And you'll, you can see here that it's on both the, the top and the bottom of it. And that's okay, because we're gonna kind of embed this a little bit into the clip. So we won't have to worry about that other side of it. So I'll go ahead and take that as it is. I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees sideways. And now you'll notice that it's kind of pushed down below this work plane. So we'll pull it up a little bit here. We use this little arrow. And now it looks like it's taller 
than the item that we're going to clip it onto, that we're going to merge it with. So using this part of the tool, I can resize it down. Go one more click this way, and I can pull it in. And rather than fuss with that too much, there's an alignment tool that we can use. If we highlight both items, we'll highlight the clip where we'll select the clip and we'll select the text as well. And there is an alignment tool and we can align those along the center. And so now you can see we've got that monogram letter sitting right there. Now I want to push it in a little bit so that the 45 degree angle is really the only thing that we've got sticking out. That's a little bit too far. By the way, you can use your left and right and up and down arrow keys to nudge items. I'm using the right arrow here and the left arrow here. And the direction of movement is relative to the work or relative to what you're looking at. So if I use the up arrow, it pushes away from me. The down arrow pulls toward me. Left moves left relative to my view. Right moves right. But it's snapping to one millimeter points on the grid. I'm going to change that to where it snaps at 0.25 millimeter units. And by doing that, I can nudge that right into place on that clip. And I think I want to move it that direction just a little to kind of center it on that face and really that's perfect that's the way i want it to look so i'll select both of these just by drawing a selection box around them and then i'm going to group them and that will result in a single object so we've got this nice monogram sitting on the object and, and looking at this design, one thing I notice is it looks like it might be kind of weak right in this spot right here. So I don't think it really needs that curve. I'm just going to grab a box item or a box object and move that in. And I'm going to resize that because I don't need it super big. And how tall was this other piece? It was... 15 millimeters, so I'll shrink this down to 15 millimeters so it's the same height. And we'll look at it from the top. And we're going to move this in and nudge that over. And really, we're just kind of filling that space in a little bit. That should work. I might nudge that just a little bit more that way. That should beef that joint up a little bit right there. That way I don't have to worry about that snapping at that particular point. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to draw a selection around both of those and I'm going to group those together as well. So those are grouped and that pretty much does it for this object. I'm going to go ahead and select the object and export it. And we're going to export this as an STL because we still need to slice it in order to print it. Okay, now that we've got that downloaded, let's put that into Slicer for the Mark III. And we can see the item here. And there it is with our monogram on it. And we'll go ahead and slice that and export it. I'll just put that on my desktop and we can send that over to the printer. All right, now that we've got that file sliced, let's go ahead and move it over to the printer. I'm going to use Octoprint because I've got that set up, but you could just copy the file to an SD card and walk it over to your printer as well. So now that I've got that there, I'll go ahead and uh, get that started. And we can watch what happens over on the control tab of Octoprint. Okay, it looks like everything's off to a good start, so here's a time lapse.
All right, I'm not going to lie. That's about the most boring time lapse I have ever done in my life. But I told you I would do a time lapse, and so there it is. That's You got that one. So that said, I've got the part here, and I think it came out pretty good. I'm going to present that to my friend in a day or so, and uh, I'm hoping that he likes it too. So that's pretty much it for the episode. I do encourage you to download stuff from Thingiverse or design your own stuff in Tinkercad and, and modify things, put your name on things. That's always cool to have your very own personalized thing that you made on your very own 3D printer. So you know, print things, have fun. And uh, oh, oh, by the way, sorry, I forgot to mention this. There's links to this stuff down in the description, uh, down in the description. Go click that stuff if you need it. There's channel support links down there if you want to support the channel. Um, but above all, go print stuff with your printer. Have a great time, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.